I've had this bag forever. Um, Emilio with the Purple Miata now, he cut this out to make his. Um, but it was always planned to go on this thing. I've literally had this thing for like two or three years to do the ship through on this thing. I just never did it. I don't know why. Um, I was probably waiting until I started doing the interior and I didn't know how big I wanted to do it. But I'm just going to do it so it goes down to the base of that uh, whatever that cover right there. Yeah, it'll be good enough for now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish it tonight, but I'm at least going to start. I like how we have like a whole workbench right there. I prefer to work on the floor. <laughs> it still works on the floor. <laughs> or we could pretend it's Lindsay's. She just comes in like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, Lindsay over there donated her Louis Vuitton purse. I mean, it's real leather. Is that a purse or would you, what would you call that, Lindsay? A bag or a purse? I think it's a bag. I just discovered clutches like four years ago. You know what a clutch is? You know what a clutch is? You know what a clutch is? It's the one right there. <laughs> For women. Yeah, I know what a clutch is. I feel like just like this is so ricey along with this. I think it's all so bad. And then the diamond plate. Like, <laughs> it's just getting worse. So this guy was asking me for a sewing kit, and I'm over here um, being sar sarcastic, saying, "No, I fuck what I have this." And then we just had one sitting right there. So I promise, I don't know how to like do this. There's gonna be instructions. You know how to do this? Plug it in. No, but like the way that you route. Oh, professional your, uh, foot pedal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A variable speed. Again, we go back to this. We have a whole workbench there that you could be doing this on and set up the foot pedal. Yeah, like but this guy is Indian style cross legged on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> a lot better than it was before. You made a cone. <laughs> a white cone. Yeah, but I mean, look at that. Yeah, no, that's what pretty we'll good. I, I stitched this here so that way we can put a string in through here and then we'll tighten it into whatever, you know, the, the base that we have. Yeah. And then obviously I'll cut this adequately or I'll leave it like that. And then the thing will come right out of there. And uh, there you have it. Um, it's probably not the best, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, no, yeah, it doesn't. I can say I did it myself. It looks almost, honestly, it, together, it, it looks honestly like the shift boots that you buy. Yeah, the only problem is, like, because we didn't, like, curve the bottom, it's not, like, you know, like, 
perfect. Yeah. It's more of like a cone or like a but pyramid rather than a cone. But once you could just trim that and then it'll... Honestly, it's fine because yeah. it'll all just oh, soak yeah, in. It'll be it. fine. So as you know, we finished up this uh, shift boot here. Um, and to finish this off, we're going to install this real quick. Um, I do want to do some sort of uh, drawstring through here to kind of bring all this in. But I think temporarily we're going to do some uh, zip ties that are black and we'll just cut off the ends and it'll be simple and easy. And we'll see. Maybe if I don't like it, I'll replace it. But I think it'll be okay. It should hide most of the, the zip ties in there. Good. I haven't taken this thing off in a while. Probably since I've had it. It'll force itself up onto it, which is good. I don't really have anything like retainer. That's for sure as hell. I'll just cut these off real quick. And, uh, should be very neat. Obviously, it has plenty of room to flex for all the gears. But uh, at some point, hopefully, we'll have some sort of center console here. And it'll cover up like some of this, so it'll take some of this kind of bagginess away. Overall, it looks pretty good. Let me uh, clean this up real quick and then we can get some good shots. Mm -hmm. 